Hey, how's it going everyone? In my last video, I demonstrated the PS4 emulation on the Steam Deck. In this video, I will guide you through setting up the PS4 emulator. While I believe only few people will be interested in setting up the PS4 emulator on their deck, I still think it will be helpful for anyone looking to do some PS4 related project on the Steam Deck. Let's just dive into this. Ok, first, make sure you have the PKG format PS4 game ROM. The current emulator only supports the PKG format. Then we need to go to the first GitHub website, onto the Linux section, download two files from this section here. Just make sure you download both files from the Linux section here. All the websites will be available under this video description. Then we can move to the next web page. On this page, just download the PKG editor from here. Now we should have three zip files in our download folder. Then extract those three files one by one. Once the file is extracted, then we can delete the original zip file. Ok, once you extracted all three files, next go to the nwgs-sdk folder. Then select everything inside this folder and copy everything here. Then we need to go to the fpps4 folder. Then go inside nwgs folder and paste everything inside this folder. Then we can go back and delete the nwgs-sdk folder. Next, open up the Discover Store and search for Lutrous and click Install. Once Lutrous is installed, just click Launch button to open it up. Then click the plus button on the top left corner. On this window, select Add Locally Installed Game. Under Name, you can type anything you like. Here, I will just type FPPS4. Then under the Runner tab, make sure you select Wine. Then move to the game options under Executable. Navigate to your FPPS4 folder and select the Launch Bat file. Click OK, then click Save. Then select FPPS4 inside this window. Then from the bottom arrow button and select Create Desktop Shortcut. Then we can close everything here. Now you should have FPPS4 on your desktop. Then just add this desktop shortcut to your Steam. Next, open up your Steam and go to the library. Select the FPPS4, then click play. After 5 seconds later, now you should have this window opened. Just click OK here. Then click OK on this window to update the FPPS4. Once the update is complete, just click OK. Now we can close the emulator for now. Then we need to go to the PKG Edit folder. Select the PKG Editor EXE file, then add it to Steam. Next, go to the Steam. The PKG Editor should show up under the library. Select the PKG Editor, then click the gear icon on the right side, and go to the Properties. Under Compatibility, make sure you change to Proton Experimental. Then we can click the Play button to launch the PKG Editor. It will take about 10 seconds, now you should get this window. Click on the file, then open. Then navigate to the location where your PKG game ROM is located. So here I will just pick up my PKG format PS4 game ROM. Then click open. Now we should have all the game information on this window. So here all we need to do right now is copy the game title. Then go to the FPPS4 folder. and inside the games folder and create a new folder and paste the game title as the folder name. Then click OK to create this game folder. Then we will go back to the PKG editor and select export to GT4 project. Then navigate to the game folder we just created. Just make sure you go inside the game folder and then click save. So here it will take about 20 seconds, then you will get this message. Just click OK. Now we can put our Steam Deck back to the gaming mode. 
Now the PS4 emulator FPPS4 will show up in our gaming mode, so we can launch the emulator from here. After we boot it into the emulator, we will see the game is show up under the game list. So we can click on the game and then on the right side, so make sure the game pad mode is set to X input. The Steam Deck controller can be detected with X input. Then we can just click run the FPPS4. Game now should be started. Yeah, that's pretty much all for how to set up the PS4 emulator on the Steam Deck. I know this is not for everyone, but it's still a fun process to do on the Steam Deck. If you have any questions, please just leave a comment below. I'm happy to help.